Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to be making a Max for Live audio effect. This one is going to be the has effect, which essentially either takes the left channel or the right channel and delays that by 1 to 25 milliseconds, let's say, a very short delay. And what that does is that makes it kind of wider. It's a really interesting and usable effect. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a listen to our loop here. It works best on higher frequency content, right? Uh, and I have a utility here to make it mono. So I'm just, I just selected uh, the left channel here, which, you know, just arbitrarily selected that. And uh, I can confirm that it is a mono signal. Okay, so we got the uh, audio effect, uh, the default one in here. Just going to open this up. And this this, uh, we're not just going to be adding a delay, we're going to be adding the ability to select uh, the left or right channel or and bypass. Um, so it's going to be uh, pretty fun. So I'm just going to drag that over there and I'm just going to make it nice and wide for now just so we uh, see what's going on. So what we're doing is we're effectively making a delay. Right, so I'm going to disconnect the right. We're going to be doing both sides, but we're going to be we're going to be doing the right for now. So we're going to double click, and we're going to add a tap in, right, and then a double click, tap out. And what this is is this is really interesting. So we connect this to this. Yeah, makes sense. And we connect this to this to the output. And then we connect this to this. And this might concern you. Um, it concerned me a little bit, but it makes sense. So what the tap-in is doing is it's essentially buffering an amount we haven't set yet. But it's, it's getting an amount into memory and then turning that into data, which then feeds into the tap-out, which interpolates that data or does whatever it does and then outputs it. So it's basically like, you know, holding the the delay in memory and then the tap out spits it out. So looking at this, you know, you get some ideas about like the complexity that you could, you know, achieve with this using like tap outs and delays and stuff like that. You know, you can apply it to like, you know, um, like compression and stuff like that. It's crazy. Or uh, um, I'm drawing a blank, but you can apply it to a lot of things. So what you want to do is double click there and we're going to add an argument which is basically telling it what to do uh, we're going to hit a space and go to five and that is 25 that's in milliseconds that is 25 milliseconds 25 milliseconds you know hold stuff in memory for 25 milliseconds and after that spit it out and like continuously do a thing uh, with that and the tap out will be 25 and you can have this set to like a thousand milliseconds, a second, things like that. And then you use multipliers and things like that when you want to set up uh, delay lines. So tap in is 25, tap out is 25. Let's connect and give it a listen. All right, we've effectively added a delay. So how do you adjust that delay? Well, this is going to be our has delay effect or our, our, our main, I guess, parameter we're going to be adjusting. Uh, I'm going to go up to here because I really like this. I'll drag this in, and this is going to be a number. It's going to be a slider between. I'm going to open up Inspector, go down. The minimum value is going to be 0. The maximum value is going to be 25. And this will be fed into the tap out. Right? So this will override that number in the tap out and essentially, you know, we can adjust the uh, the has effect here. So check this out. Right, really cool. We've 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 done it. All right, so that's all well and good. I want to do this to the other side, and I want to be able to have the ability to switch from uh, left to right. So we're going to be doing some selecting and a little bit of gating, because uh, that's just how I know how to do it. So let's copy that over. And 
and let's map this to tap in at 25 and it will map this over and uh, disconnect that. We know where to connect it, but we're just going to leave it kind of uh, disconnected for now. I want to have the ability to switch between the, the tap out, the actual delay, and the dry signal. So how would I do that? Well, I'm going to do that with a selector. So I'm going to uh, type in selector with a squiggly line. Uh, but I actually need to give it, right now it has one input. I need it to have two. So I'll hit space and then hit two. And then it gave me uh, two inputs. And I'm going to, I, I'm going to set this up. I'm going to paste that. And then this is going to be that selector. All right. So we need to set this up in such a way where I do not confuse you or myself. We're going to set up uh, some buttons for uh, left, right, and bypass, or off. I'll just call it off. We're going to go to Max for Live Objects, and we're going to go to Live tab. And uh, this is the Live tab here. And I want it, uh, there's the inspector. Let's look at, uh, let's look at uh, display, maybe like LCD, maybe. Yeah, that looks cool. And... Let's uh, let's make it um. No, you know what? I want to make it uh, like so, just so it's nice and organized. So we got one, two, and three. Um, that's not really helpful or descriptive at all. So I'm gonna go down in the inspector. I want this to be um off uh left right. Cool. All right. So there's that. So. These are, if I lock it, these are like buttons that you can toggle, but they spit out a value. Okay, so let's look at the value they spit out. So I just uh, typed in a message there, gonna connect that. And uh, yeah, select it off, left, right. All right, so it does it in a, a kind of a list here. So with this in mind, you kind of have to plan ahead. So off is zero, left is one, right is two. Right, so left is one, right is two. I'm going to, I'm actually gonna leave that just so uh, we don't get confused here. So the selector, I want this to go into both selectors, right? These selectors are going to, this is the input of the selector. These selectors are going to, depending on what number is being fed, take one of two signals and allow only one to go through the output. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. So when, um, let's say when right, right, when right is selected, that's two. And that will select, right, that will select input two, which is open right now. Okay, so let's get the delay from the tap in to go into input two. Right, so when right, I want right to be delayed, it'll be it'll go to down this line to the selector, giving it a number of two, which we can see through this message. It is saying, hey, the selector is being told, let two go through. And uh, you know, we can see and confirm that it's open now. And uh that will go through to the output. Right? When I select one or left one will be spat out, which means that I don't want the right to be affected anymore, right? So this one is open now. This one is closed. So what I'll do is I'll just move that to that. That's the dry signal. That's the delay isn't being touched, right? So yeah, when I switch between them, it'll just switch between these two and uh, let it kind of go through. I'm going to do the opposite here. So left is uh, selected, so input one is open, so the delay will be plugged into input one, right? Let the left through, and if I go to the right, boom, this is now closed, and then this is open, so I will have the dry signal going through, right? And then that will be fed into the, uh, the plug out. 
Okay, so let's quickly, before I forget, let's so let's, let's connect the uh, the number that's affecting the has effect. I'm going to connect that to the tap out here and the tap out here. So let's uh, let's just um, have that up there, and maybe I can I can align these uh, cords. Just right clicking on the uh, the cables and uh, making it, you know. You know, more sense. More sense is more better. Okay, so we'll have that. So we can see we can see that going on there. And I'll just move that over. And it just kind of gives it v vaguely um, a good kind of situation that you can look at. Right. All right. So we have that going into that into that. Okay. Let's uh, give it a test. Right. We have our number here. Let's give it a test. Right, so we can confirm that it's switching back and forth. Right, we can confirm that number is cycling between, you know, one and two. What does off do? Off, uh, there's no value for, there's no value for zero. It's just one and two. So zero will effectively kill everything, which is fine. So let's, um, set up a, a little bit of a, a hack, I guess. And we're going to be setting up a gate to do this. So I want a gate with a squiggly line, tilde, which means that it deals with audio. All right, cool. I want... So right now, how a gate works is if a, a zero is being fed in, it will close the gate. If a one is fed in, it will open the gate. Right? So I need to actually invert that and switch it around so when it's zero, it actually spits out a one. And we can do that easily uh, with a um, equal. Equal. We compare two numbers and it equals a condition. Right? And I need uh, just to double click and just hit zero and then space and then this is the uh, integer that I want to compare it to. So when zero is uh, selected or off is selected it spits out a zero and that zero will go to this that will trigger the calculation. It'll be like hey is this equal to this? Is it equal to zero? If it's anything else it doesn't equal zero so it won't spit out a result. Um, and this will be fed into the gate. So let's open up the message. Oops. So we can uh, listen to this. Or hear it, I should say. Right, so that's the uh, message there. Right, so when it's left and right, it's zero. When it's off, it's one. Even though it's zero. It's being, it's just my way of doing things. There's probably a better way to go about this, but, you know, I'm, I'm a hobbyist and I'm, uh, you know, still learning. But yeah, uh, when anything else is selected, the gate is closed, or the number is zero. We haven't plugged it into the gate yet. It's zero. When you hit off, it's one. So this is very useful. Super, super useful. And effectively, yeah, we've inverted that gate. So let's uh, plop that into the, um, the, uh, the, the pit result. And this will be the input, right? And this will listen hold on yeah, yeah yeah so this is the signal and then this is the input that will allow it to pass through a, a gate will essentially when it's zero it'll prevent anything from passing when it's one things can go through it's kind of like a, a light switch with electricity that's basically what it is okay so if you think about it i need to actually make two of these for left and right and you remember when it's off audio is killed there's no audio. Right. So that uh that works out kindly. So yeah, let's uh let's get another um output here. Or the, uh, another input from the input to the gate. And uh this is open currently because it's off and we can confirm that. I like how it lets you confirm that. Got the two inputs and then 
we can feed that into the output. Very cool. All right, so that's uh, basically our graph. And uh, yeah, let's give it a test. Right, very cool. That's that's uh, that's basically it. Let's set um, let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, it's minimum value, maximum value, and look at here. Yeah, there's that. Uh, let's have the uh, the default value. So uh, almost all parameters can have a default value, and uh, you know name things or whatever but it's it's quite descriptive anyway and this is just basic so the the initial value i'll i'll set this and i want the initial value to be uh i guess um uh yeah we'll have it we'll have it zero so when you load it up it'll be off and you can select which channel you want makes makes sense and then yeah this will we'll just leave it we'll leave it maxed all right so let's get this into a a uh, presentation so I'll unlock this it's just basically uh, two devices I'll add that to presentation and then I will right click and then add that to presentation and then I will go to presentation mode and um, <clears throat> excuse me and this will be yeah just a neat little utility I can even like make it like this right just to just to stack it up even more, kind of align it like so. And then give it a little bit of space. So we got we got the main off, and then we can select uh, left, right, and then adjust the um, the phase or the, the delay in uh, milliseconds, right? Super cool. And that's a uh, very descriptive. So I need to unselect everything and I need to right click and go to inspector window. And this is very important. This will get you. Uh, I want it to open in presentation. Very important, right? So yeah, we have uh, you know, better kind of the visual of, you know, the line here. So let's let's kind of make these a, a little bit bigger cuz you never know, you might want to use this in like a live setting or whatnot. And uh, yeah, compact devices are King, and we can have this like a vertical bar or whatever. But yeah, okay, let's uh, let's lock this. Give it another test. Cool. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Let's um, save as. We'll call it. I don't know as. Uh, one. We might come back to this and uh, do some more stuff with it. And uh, let's give it a close, and then there you go. Very cool. Also really cool is, uh, yeah, we can type in uh, values as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you learned stuff. Uh, take care and have a good one.